Installing a Facebook pixel on your WordPress website. How do you do it and how do you make it as easy as possible? Well, that's what I'm going to show you right here in this video and much more. My name is Paul Kluke and I own my own digital marketing company. I've been at it since 2012 and I'm super excited you're here. Make sure to like and subscribe if this type of video helps you. That way others will be able to see it as well. Well, let's jump right in. So first off, you want to go to your Facebook uh, account. You can see I'm in mine. I'm going to go to uh, my business manager. And then what you want to do is you want to go uh, look for something up here called events events manager of course we always think of events like you know a wedding or a party right but events in the world of websites is actually things that happen on a website like a user clicks somewhere visits a page or does something that's an event it's a little bit different than what we usually or how we usually see it so once you're here, you're going to hit on the plus sign and you're going to go to connect data sources. Then you'll click on web, get started, and you'll name your pixel. And what I like to do is just name it maybe like a campaign name or my site name. So maybe I'll call this OMG new. And I'm going to put, you know, for YouTube, YouTube, and uh, in this particular case, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna use a little dummy site that I built a long time ago for someone, and uh, we'll call it emi-ors.com. Actually, you know what? It's not SSL encrypted, so let's just do this, and we'll hit continue. Cool. So then we're going to create, continue the pixel uh, setup and manually add pixel code to the website. Install code manually. So here you'll see the code and you can copy it. And now it tells you paste base code to website and paste the pixel code in the bottom of the header section just above the head. The, well, it says that means closing head tag. Install the base code on every page of your website. All right, so how do we do that and make it as painless as possible? So I've copied my code, and if I wanted to, and I'm gonna go over here, I was gonna say if I wanted to put it in a notepad file, we could do that, but I'm gonna go over here to plugins, and on this particular site, what I'm gonna do is add a plugin called header. going to be insert headers and footers. You can see we have a million installs here. You could also use this one, head footer. I also like to use the Sogo one as well, Sogo header. And the reason for that is if I want to add specific things to a page um, rather than the whole site, then I can do that there as well. So I'll go ahead and install the most used one so that I keep you kind of on the safe side. Header, insert headers and footers. Installing this and then we're going to activate. Then what you're going to want to do is go over to the settings area, look up insert headers and footers, and you're going to insert the script in the header. And you'll see this, these scripts will be printed in the head section, right? So the and it said to put this in just before the closing head section. So um, I'm going to hit save. And now when I go to the website, and you can verify this, you just go to view page source, and you're going to hit find. You can paste the code back in. Well, I guess it's not going to. Actually, what you can do is look for the closing head tag and see if you see your pixel. Now, I'm not sure 
come to think about it, I'm not sure if I, uh, I saved it. Let me reload this just in case. Uh, and now we'll view page source. And let's look for find closing head section. Let's see how much is in the head section. There's a lot of stuff in this one. So in that case, Oh, there it is. You see it in pixel code, Facebook pixel code. And here you see all of the information right here. And that's really it. It's really that simple. It's a couple of steps, but then once you get it, it's done. And because I put it on in this insert headers and footers, this is going to be site wide. So every page is going to have it. Some of the plugins that are out there will give you the option to do it either site wide or just on a specific page. Make sure on this particular or in this particular case that you do site wide. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you and I look forward to catching up with you in the next video. Don't forget to like this video for me. Appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.